It is gonna be almost 70 degrees today and I'm dying to ride the R6. Unfortunately, I cannot because I need to work on Bob's Type R. For starters, the car is absolutely filthy as you can see. So it needs a bath, but not only that, <sighs> Before these winter tires, before these studs get melted away on the hot pavement, I need to get her summers back on. The amount of stuff you can fit in an FK8 is ridiculous. These gotta be the best dailies available. This car has one mechanical issue remaining, and that is the ABS system. Airbag is sorted, engine ECU is sorted, ABS is not sorted. It is throwing a code for a front right ABS sensor. Now, before I go and order new parts and all that stuff, this is the advantage of having multiple Evos. So provided that the ABS sensor is not stuck, which I'm 99% sure it is stuck, but in the off chance it's not stuck on the blue nine, if I can get it out, I'm gonna take that ABS sensor out, put it on this car, see if it fixes our issue. If it does not, it's most likely a wiring issue or the ABS module itself is acting up. Here's the test. Let's remove the bolt and see if the sensor is stuck in the hub like they always are. If it's not, this car must be mint. This car is mint, the sensor is not I repeat, the sensor is not stuck in the freaking hub. New ABS sensor is installed, new used. Come in, or are you busy? It ain't fast. I'll leave my computer in there. It's probably gonna get stolen. I nah. got insurance now. You'll be fine. What's up? What's... You guys recognize this, oh, this oh. voice? Tell them who you are, man. I'm Nick. I. Yeah, he's he's the me. wiring expert that helps me with all of the wiring and electrical problems. So you, I know you guys- See, now you're making me blush. I don't know what to say. <laughs> I know you guys recognize the voice. You may have been on FaceTime a time or two on camera. I have no idea. Probably. Well, you think my ABS is fixed. And this is where all of the audio started going to trash. Nick and I, my man Nick, big shout out to you. We went on a test drive in the Yellow 8 and sure enough, the ABS is 100% resolved. No more codes, no more weird pedal feedback, no more ABS pump randomly kicking on or i guess activating you could say when you hit the brakes abs is 100 percent resolved and good to go now being that nick is already out in spokane which he's from portland like five or six hours away he came out for the car meet but we figured while he's here in person let's try and diagnose the all-wheel drive type r parking brake situation so next, fixing a peculiar issue on this car. Is this yours? Looking, there's nothing to fix. It worked. Yes, it worked. The four e for four. No, no, oh, no. Eighty percent of the time, it doesn't work. Watch, it probably won't work for me. It works. No, I promise you. I, I got twelve. Or, yeah, almost twelve hundred miles on this Jimmy now. Is it loud enough? Nah, it could be a little louder. Okay, now let's try again. I don't know, dude. I, <laughs> it wasn't working last time, Andrew. Were you buckled up? Were your doors closed? Wait, why, do, why do the doors have to be closed? I don't know, what. Tr just try it, just out of curiosity. Yes? It works. <laughs> Peculiar. You're not letting that one go, are you? Nope. Right, that's weird. 
It's a good word. I like the word. You introduced me to that word months ago. I always know when you're going to say it, too. I can predict it. See what I mean? It's a little more race car feeling. Yeah. The straight cut sounds so good. Like, you hear them really loud in the videos. Yeah. Like, that's all you hear. But in the car itself... The, the, com the, the combination the, the, is yeah. perfect. Yeah. And then fifth gear just quiet. You have the straight cut for the, no. the heel oh. coil? Whatever. Yep. It's only on 18 pounds right now. It's not that quick, but... That's pretty quick. Told you, motherfucker. Told you. Release the brake. Press on it again. I wasn't capping. See, now I'm stuck. What do I do? Then he, he shut the, the car off and he go to tell something turns on. Peculiar. That is the definition of peculiar. What do you think? We could rewire that in a way, but you're gonna need a special relay for it because you're gonna need a relay that's like open and closed. And you're still gonna, because the wires that control the actuators are thick, like you're not gonna run that through. You're going deep already. Why don't, why don't we just think about why it does it? You I mean, know, I can read your ABS codes, but let's be honest, you had like a million in there last time. Nah, only eight. So if you guys have not seen previously, the issue with the parking brake is quite peculiar. Quite peculiar, you could say. I would say about 50, 60% of the time when the car is running, you cannot disengage the parking brake. You can engage it no matter what, car running or not running. Now, for some reason, I think it's just because it's a 2021, you do need to wear your seatbelt when you disengage the parking brake. But like I said, about 50% of the time, the parking brake will not disengage like an OEM one would. And when that happens, if you shut the car off and just have the ignition on, then it will disengage. Then you can fire the car up. So that is the issue we are trying to resolve. It's quite uh, annoying, I guess you could say. I wish it worked like factory. So we're working to get to the bottom of why it's doing that. I feel like a student in school. <laughs> oh, there we go. Okay. Well, bro, I looked at the diagram and I'm confused by it. There's too many modules that it goes through. There's like a hundred. It ain't like the Evo. The only thing I can think of is... I just want to know why it does it when it's running, but it disengages perfectly every single time not running. You know what I'm saying? But when it's running, so obviously sometimes it does disengage. I gotta show you something cool. The two-step on the, the anti-lag on this thing is a little rowdy. All right, one second. I'll do it when we get back to the shop so it's actually warm. You ready for this, son? Yeah. That's crazy. Tonight is our car meet as well. I'm planning on bringing the Evo. Bobby's gonna bring her STI, we're gonna bring the Type R, and we're gonna bring the M3 as well. Alrighty, we got all of the cars cleaned up. Evo looking beautiful, Bobby's STI always looking beautiful, Bobby looking cool. Type R finally, finally cleaned up. Nick will be driving the Type R, and Jared will be whipping the M3. Put my insurance in before you total my car. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Before we headed out, Nick wanted to drive around the block in the Type R just to kind of get a feel for it before we make the trek down to the car meet. Type R, ready to go. Bob's car, the Evo. Bam. Pray for Jerry that he doesn't total the M tonight. It's really fun getting all the cars out and going for a cruise with the boys. Ah. Please, please, please don't die on me again. This thing just died in the middle of a freaking intersection and it would not start. Suspected map sensor failing. Cause this seems to cool down and fire right back up. I put 100, 200 miles on it probably without fail. And then the one day I, oh, there it goes again. Yeah, it's a map sensor for sure. It's gotta be. Cause it's building fuel pressure just fine. I know it's not a fuel pump issue. It's the map sensor. Oh, there she goes. She's she's dying in and out. Come on, girl. I'm like 10 feet from the stand. So tonight we should be able to let her cool down. 
make it back to the shop just fine. I'm pretty sure it's the AEM map sensor on here. I could be wrong. I know Omnis like to do this. I figured AEM would be better. We'll see. Come on, girl. <laughs> oh, don't you freaking love clunky project cars? Come on. Come on. <laughs> you can. You only can laugh about it. You can't be pissed because it's just how cars go. Yeah, it's gonna have to cool down for a second. It doesn't matter. I would back in next to the Type R. So we made it out to the meet. Hello, Jesse. Hello. And it is absolutely packed here. Yeah. Very good turnout. <laughs> Nice little LS BRZ. Sick. Twin turbo R8. Very beautiful electric blue nine. See man! This thing is built to the hilt. Oh, that's this, pretty that's this, pretty heavy. This is your first interview. Alright. Tell me about your beautiful car here, Chase. So we have a 2013 STI, car made 800 horsepower, E85. Um, ended up sending the rings out of the chat and cracked a sleeve. That's on a stock so, motor, yeah? You're talking? Stock that, e. So that was on a stock EJ. It had piston rods, stock semi closed deck. So I decided I wanted to put a make it reliable. Yeah, make it reliable. No longer have head gasket issues. And uh, this is the second drive. <laughs> Hello, sir. And um, yeah, so it's not tuned yet. It's still on a base map. Are you gonna blame the tuner when it blows up? Uh, <laughs> well, if it, will. yeah, it's probably. Only got miles in the motor. <laughs> no, no. It does. Yeah. Have yeah. yeah, yeah, three hundred k. But if you look at my spray paint it don't job, look like it, no? yeah. So, I like the spray painted engine bay. It's pretty clean. You did yeah. a good job. I did a pretty, lie. pretty decent job. It looks good. So yeah. All right, so we are back in the shop, and Nick and I are gonna do a quick diagnosis as to why the e-brake only disengages when the car is not running. When it's running, it will not, for the most part, disengage. So Nick thinks it's something to do with the SRS system, the airbag system. So we're gonna pull out the center console, get access to the SRS ECU, and go from there. It's possible that SRS ECU is bad, so we are snagging the one out of the red Type R right now, and we're gonna try that and it's gonna fix all of our problems. Huh, Nick? I think so, I believe so. I'll bet you, I don't know, what can I bet you? Uh, what will you bet me? Um, sweepstakes, I mean, sorry, sweepstakes. <laughs> so before we could not talk to the airbag system whatsoever, and now... With good power ground and communication lines. Nothing? No, no response from it. So it's not the airbag module. What would you say, peculiar? Peculiar. So we haven't figured out the issue yet. We're definitely onto something because with the airbag module disconnected, the e-brake does not work whatsoever, verified on Bobby's car. But unfortunately, we're out of time. It is midnight. I still have to go to the freaking gym and then go home. So I'm gonna wrap it up here. We're onto something, we'll get it sorted eventually. But for now, I'm gonna call that a wrap. Big shout out and thank you to everyone who came out to the meet. I appreciate you guys. Besides the people that two-step in the parking lot, I don't appreciate that. But everyone else, I appreciate you guys. Thank you, and I'll see you boys in the next video.